Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. I know this isn't the normal automotive video that I would upload, but I got to tell you about this awesome helicopter ride or tour that my girlfriend found while we were in Tahoe. If you want to go on a tour like this, make sure you look for the contact info in the description below. It is located here at the Tahoe Airport. Go to enter the airport and the city hall and go to your left. In this little room right here, there is a lovely gentleman greet you, take your money, all that good stuff. Make sure you call these people and, and book over the phone rather than using an online system. Here he's gonna give you a little safety briefing before you go on the tarmac, how to approach the helicopter and whatnot. Real nice gentleman again. Everybody really helpful, really friendly. I liked it. Here we're approaching the helicopter on the tarmac. Adrenaline starts rushing. I'm going to sit back, let the uh, passengers that were on their tour get out of the helicopter. We ended up being the last helicopter tour of the day. Sit right here, just let your adrenaline start pumping. We went about 10.30ish in the morning on a September, late September day. We go to enter the helicopter. The back seat isn't the most roomy in the world. It's about a Honda Civic back seat room-ish. Um, it's enough, especially for a helicopter. It was beautiful. I loved everything about it. Obviously, that's why we're getting this video. This is our pilot. His name is Josh. He's a local, been here for about 20 years in the Tahoe area. You can tell we're both getting really giddy, getting ready to go. Josh lets us know uh, what we're going to be facing getting up into the air, uh, how to hold on, or not really hold on, but get ready to take off, have your headset on, how to use the headset properly. Got to make sure it's pretty close to your mouth. It picks up your voice and makes the, uh, the mic turn on. I think that's how it works. But you can hear perfect with those headsets on when you're talking to each other when the mic is set right taking off right here we run parallel with the runway a little bit and this right here it's crazy it's super fun don't let this video be your experience of this trip make sure you call and book this trip or this tour uh, with them and do it yourself everyone gets a little bit different experience the wind's gonna be different the heat everything there might be a little bit of snow on the caps Getting in the air, he explains how the wind's gonna be affecting the ride today. Um, was a little bumpy getting up into the air, but past a certain elevation, it uh, leveled out, evened out, ride became really comfortable. This is when the scenery starts getting really beautiful. You can focus more on what's around you rather than being excited that you're just in a helicopter period. If you know of any other cool helicopter tours like this in the area, uh, Northern California West Coast area let me know we like doing stuff like this and thanks yeah. to you guys the viewers out there we could do stuff like this and also if you need help on your car make sure you check out my channel and like subscribe and share while we're doing this too uh, like I said this is one of the funnest tours I've ever been on this is really the first helicopter I've been in uh, for a tour and conscious I've done the uh, the boat tours here in Tahoe we did like pyramid boat tours uh, we've been on other tours, but not in a helicopter. Over here on the left is Tahoe Keys. We've been up to Tahoe many times, uh, at least a hundred times in the last 10 years. Uh, and I never really knew of Tahoe Keys. I've heard of them, but I really didn't know. But here they are off on the left. And lo and behold, never knew that this is probably the number one contributor to the pollution in Tahoe. Of course, it's man-made. Whenever we find something beautiful, we just seem to ruin it. The whole side of Tahoe or South Shore right here should be a marshy area. And of course, us humans went in and built on it so we could live in paradise. We dredged out a bunch of uh, marshland so we could drive our boats in and out to reach our cool back doors and docks, I should say. You can see it's dredged out into the uh, lake itself.
Josh explains all this to us in great detail. He's really knowledge on what's around us. He's been flying this helicopter for almost 10 years now, I believe it was, and he did a great job at it. Taking off landing, he's calm, uh, never showed any sign of worry. I don't know why he would, but I'm not a helicopter guy or a pilot, which I was. You can see how blue and beautiful Tahoe is. Hopefully it stays like this for a long time, and hopefully when you get to take this tour, or do this tour, it's a little bit more bluer. And you'll let me know that in the comments. We will go back for this tour again, for sure. Probably do a little bit longer one if we can next time. We'll see how it all goes. I really want to do a tour of the Grand Canyon in a helicopter. I think that's one of the, one of the coolest places, other than Havasupi Falls. That would be nice too. But we have three kids, so five people, it's kind of a lot to go. Josh is pointing out the lakes over yonder, the name of them, uh, how they get water, and just a little bit of history about them. We come up to Emerald Bay in a minute. Here is Emerald Bay off to the left. We do end up turning around a little bit past Emerald Bay and start heading back. It was getting a little bit windy out there, but still fun. Coming up to Emerald Bay, Josh lets us know the, the history, I should say, of Emerald Bay itself. There's a little island there with a little structure on top. He lets you know why it's there, when it was built, who it was for, and what they enjoyed while they were there. Off to the left, there is another little lake over there. I don't remember the name. This Emerald Bay stuff was amazing, just caught my eye. One quick thing that he did teach me is Emerald Bay got its name because of the blue emerald color of the mouth of the, the bay right there. So that's how it became Emerald Bay. Josh Lewis knew that. Turning around. We do pitch a little sideways. I'm gonna try to hold the camera parallel to the ground you can see. She looks so happy. That's still so pretty. Start heading back. So both passengers do get equal view. Uh, you, both of you get the view of the land uh, and the lake itself. Everywhere, super beautiful. Make sure you contact Josh and his team to book this tour or trip itself. I'm not paid to do this at all. He doesn't know I'm doing this. I just enjoyed it so much and I feel like I have a voice that might let other people know to go enjoy this too. Coming here on the landing, it was a little anxious, but calm collected Josh landed it with no problem. You can see adrenaline rushing. The landing and the takeoff, uh, probably where your anxiety is going to go up or off the most. While you're in the air cruising around and Josh is talking to you, it's super, it's just relaxing up there. It's one of the funnest things I've ever done in my life. So make sure you do this trip too. Make sure you comment below with what your experience was. If it differed from our trip, if you think it was better than our trip, go ahead and let me know that too. Like, subscribe, and share. I will be posting more of our cool vacations we get to do and experiences we get to go through because of you guys here on YouTube. Make sure you watch every single one of my channels, click the links in the descriptions to purchase parts and share the heck out of my videos. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next hopefully helpful video. Have fun on your tour with Josh.